realize that you are enough. Wow. Whoa. Just use your imagination to think, oh, wow, well, you are enough. Whoa, I, I'm enough. There's a reality. And if you, if you look up at the sky, through the clouds, through the trees, through the ozone, into space, into interstellar space, intergalactic space, deep into the cosmos as far as you can possibly see, there's so much out there that for you to, to, to be stuck in your head, dwelling in thoughts of, I'm not enough. Sometimes I feel like I'm enough. Well, I'm not enough. Sometimes I feel like I'm enough. Well, I'm not enough. And you're just, you're just stuck in, these, in this limbo is, is, is I, I guess I take for granted that I have invested in myself to know that I am enough, to have core confidence. Are you gonna choose to settle for a life of less where you're not confident and you're not viewing yourself as enough? Or are you gonna be like, wow, well, hmm, other people in the past have become confident. They know that they're enough. So I know it's possible. I've seen evidence that it's possible. I know people have done it. I've seen people have done it. I've kind of experienced it a little bit. You have all this, all this proof showing that it's possible, but you're going off of the assumption based off of your thoughts and your perspective of the world that, oh, I'm only enough sometimes. I'm only confident in certain situations. Just assuming there's something wrong with you when other people have figured it out. Other people have left that coping behind where they're consistently living in a world where they don't think they're enough and they're not confident and they've moved on to thriving. You wanna come from a place of, I am confident, I am enough. So instead of coping, what if I were to thrive, all right? Pretend time, we're gonna go into the imagination. This is you, coping. Scarcity, I'm not enough, I'm not confident. And then we're gonna switch over here. So how do we make that shift to be complete, feel like you are enough, have that core confidence? It's you, same you, Ex exact same you. There's only one you and that's the you that exists now. But you're traveling through space time, everything is changing and evolving. So in our world of the imagination, let's just assume that, oh, well, I am enough. I am confident. Those are my new defaults. I'm gonna now look at myself and assume that I'm enough, assume that I'm confident, and I'm going to address my disbelief that I'm enough, and disbelief that I'm not confident. Not coming from a place of, oh, well, I'm, I'm not confident, I'm not enough. How do I fix not being confident and enough? I'm confident, I'm enough. Let me address that issue of me doubting, questioning. And then, with your new assumption, giving yourself that permission to come out of that old you that you've been resonating with and come into that new you that you want to be. You're, you're the, you get it? You're the only thing that's holding you back. You're choosing to lose, just, just so you know. Okay, just, I just had to throw it out there. So choose to win. That's the same you, the only you, the only you that's here now. So, be confident. Be entitled. You are enough. Now, when you question yourself and fall into doubt, whoa there, there's a computer error going on. Some Something does not compute. I told myself I was confident and enough. What is the issue that's making me think that I'm not confident? Then you're coming from a place of, whoa, I'm not coping anymore. I'm thriving. I can see what the external or internal thing was that threw me off. Because I know what my default's supposed to be. Now I can recognize it. I can get a reference experience of investing into that core confidence, investing into that belief that I am enough. Because I'm entitled to it. No doubt, no judgment, no question, no second guessing. So when I see this coming at me, firewall. Firewall, 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 firewall. Your defenses start to get stronger through these reference experiences. Now, instead of coping, you start to thrive. You start to able to root yourself. 
be grounded. So that way, when you're now dealing with, could be the same exact thing that you were struggling with in the past, you're coming from a place of, I can now recognize this stimulus has triggered something in me to throw me into reaction. I don't want that because I know I'm enough. I know that I should be confident. So instead of falling into reaction and coping, I'm going to choose to take that belief that I'm enough and I'm confident and move forward thriving. I've recognized the stimulus that I was triggered by, so I'm not falling back into those old ways. I'm now the new grounded, confident, I'm enough version of me. So now I see that stimulus, I'm like, all right, not gonna catch me like in a firewall. Boom, I already knew you were coming. That reference experience that you've been stacking and stacking and stacking, all those small wins to recondition yourself to realize that you are enough and you're confident, has now set yourself, set yourself up for success to thrive instead of falling back into coping. Which is amazing. You did it. Whoa, you did it. Woo! Now we can leave the world of imagination and realize, wow, it's that easy to shift from coping into thriving. Instead of trying to make it by, doubting and questioning, you know, go into thriving. Wow, I'm enough. I, I'm confident. I am me. Whatever I'm dealing with is external. I am me passing through this external thing. Whether you get the outcome you desire, or whether you not, do not get the outcome you desire. Being able to detach yourself and really be confident and be grounded, knowing that you are enough, is a fundamental place that you have to start coming from in order to address a lot of these issues. 